Welcome back. A festival happening next week at Eagle Marsh aims to educate people about monarch butterflies. Very fun. Butterflies <laughs> and caterpillars will be on display so visitors can learn all about the monarch's life cycle and conservation. Joining us this morning is Betsy Yenkowiak with the Little River try to say that little river <laughs> wetlands project it's a mouthful sometimes yeah thanks so much for coming in betsy thank you for having me and you brought some friends with you too yes we have uh monarch caterpillars here on the stage um we have four and they're in fifth in stars so pretty soon they'll be crawling up to the top of the tank and forming a J and then creating the chrysalis. Oh, wow. So you've got a couple of them hanging up here, and these guys have been pretty active just munching all morning. <laughs> yes, and the only thing that monarch uh, caterpillars munch on is milkweed. Okay. So at our festival coming up, we'll be giving away thousand, a thousand free milkweed plants to the public. Wow. Cool. Yeah, tell us about this festival. Is this the first year for the event? Uh, this is actually our eighth year okay. for the event, and every year we invite the public in. Uh, we gather a number of different partner organizations and vendors and sponsors um, and the community to come together to celebrate this amazing butterfly. And the reason why we have this event um, in September, the first couple weeks of September, is it's during their migration. So monarchs have the largest and longest insect migration in the entire North America. Really? So they'll fly from Canada all the way to Mexico oh, wow. during this fall migration. So when you see the yellow goldenrod blooming, that is the time that they start coming through and those plants are really important for them huh. as they stop by in Indiana on their way to Mexico. Journey. Yeah, wow, that's really awesome. So what is the goal of this year specifically or the focus of this um, in 2018? Yeah, our focus is to raise awareness about this amazing butterfly and the importance of milkweeds and other native plants for monarch butterflies, but all the other pollinators as well. So you said you're, you're giving away milkweed plants, and that's for people to plant in their yard so the monarchs have something to nibble on as they trek through? Yes, yeah. So the monarchs will lay their eggs during the summer months on the milkweed, and so when they hatch out, they can just start eating and moving on uh, to become a butterfly. Wow. And what does the Little Rev River Wetlands Project um, do specifically with this? Yeah, so we have two parts of our mission of our nonprofit organization. The first one is to restore and protect wetland habitats, mm -hmm. which is the home for many of these monarch butterflies. Um, wetlands provide clean water, flood storage, and a number of other um, important attributes to our ecosystems. But we also have free nature education. We serve over 11,000 people each year with free nature education programs, including Monarch Fest. Oh, so wow. Monarch Fest will be free. That was going to be my next yes. question. And what are some of the other activities that will be going on with this festival if people come out? Yes, we have vendors. So Riverview Nursery will be out uh, selling native plants. We have two lo local authors, uh, Helen Frost and Kylie Bommel, that will be selling their books. Uh, we have Southwest Honey, Glen's Honey. We have U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Indiana DNR, Allen County Parks that will be doing a tagging and releasing project. So uh, if you, through the University of Kansas, you can put a sticker on all of these uh, butterflies as they trek to Mexico. Oh. And then University of Kansas can figure out where those butterflies have migrated from. Oh, and it yeah. adds to a database of information about this migration. Yeah, for sure. Very, Very cool. cool. Well, it sounds like a really great opportunity for people to check out. I think we need to replace this with a milkweed. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Let's attract, <laughs> yes. attract some Thank you so much, Betsy, for coming in. If you want to check out the 2018 Monarch Festival, it is happening September 9th from 2 to 5 at Eagle Marsh. You can see this interview again on Wayne.com a little later this morning. We'll be right back.